Hello everybody, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. So today, we are going to attempt my challenge. Finally, this is the Find My Balls Challenge, also known as Find My Asteroids Challenge. And for those of you that are not aware, this challenge involves us to relocate some asteroids. So we have a total of three asteroids to relocate. We have two asteroids that are currently on Kerbin, on the ground, and you must relocate them to the KSC, Kerbal Space Center. And there is one asteroid, it's a class C sized, that is currently orbiting Kerbin. And of course, the same thing goes for that. You need to relocate it to the KSC. Now, uh, this challenge, I'll mention it again. Uh, I created this challenge so that it could give people incentive to create some nice designs to be able to move these asteroids around because that's kind of, well, you have the asteroids, might, might as well use them, right? <laughs> since they were implemented in the game. And uh, yeah, let, let's get into a few design ideas I had for this. So the first asteroid that we are going to move is fairly close to the KSC. It's right off the beach. It's like right in front, right in front of the screen there. Like a bit, that says like, that says 5.3 kilometers away and it's now 700 meters away. Yay, it's right there. Look at that tiny little thing right next to the beach. It's a fairly good location. And look at look at the rover there. When I press the brakes for this rover, you notice, look at it, look at it sliding. The rover is sliding even though I turn the brakes on. What? Like, doesn't friction come into play in this game? It used to. <laughs> now, that was weird. Very weird, and I could see that was a problem. Let me remind you, this design, this rover here, what you're saying, I made that specifically so that we can put the ro the asteroid onto the rover and then take it to the KC without having to make this gigantic rocket and it, it'd be a bit dangerous to have a rocket fly up the, this asteroid and let's just say you run out of fuel or something bad happens with the rocket, the asteroid might fall down and smash into pieces, which well, would mean you'd have to restart. That's not good. So I guess the safest thing to do was the rover idea I had here. And it works quite well. Although there are a couple issues along the way. The, the You have to actually push the asteroid onto the rover. That's the only issue you have here. And as you can see there, we have a rocket. That's actually an aircraft I made once before. And it's not specifically made for pushing asteroids. And I just added the claw, but here, here's my misconception. I thought that the claw would help me push the asteroid. I was wrong. Don't use a claw when pushing an asteroid. No, nope, don't use it. Because a claw is connected directly to your aircraft. And it's kind of like, well, you're, it, it just, you need the asteroid to roll. And if you're connected to the, uh, the asteroid with your aircraft using the claw, blah, 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 it won't roll. And now we are not connected. And as you can see, it was kind of moving all of a sudden. So yeah, there, there we go. And it's moving in the wrong direction. Oh, no, it's all good now. It's all good, but it is now officially on top of the aircraft. That is not good. It's stuck. <laughs> and there we go. Broken aircraft. Not good. Definitely not good. Have to restart. <laughs> it's always a good thing to press F5 before you attempt to do something dangerous. Okay. And I was really surprised I was able to move the asteroid with this rover. Just push it forward a little bit. It's pretty interesting. Because that doesn't work with a class E sized asteroid. Which is, just to remind you guys, class E is the biggest sized asteroid in the game. Apparently. <laughs> and uh, this is a class C sized asteroid. So it's a medium sized asteroid. Pretty good. And... Uh, some of you, some one guy was like, I think it was a couple of days ago, he was like, where is Designs of the Week? <laughs> that was pretty funny. Not in that exact voice. It was a comment, but I just made it sound funny. Uh, I have some really, really interesting design ideas utilizing these asteroids. I won't spoil them because I know people watch my videos and if I tell them, people are going to go all out and start making this stuff. But it's an interesting idea. Very interesting idea. And it's something that I've kind of mentioned uh, in like in the challenge video that I made specifying what this challenge was all about. None of you will be able to figure it out because I am a very creative thinker, that's why. You'll see soon about what those designs are. Well, maybe not so soon because it's going to take time to make those designs and then test them, which will take probably two hours, easy. 
Anyway, pretty cool designs, and it, it won't be something that you've ever expected before. Yeah, really cool stuff. I better write them down before I forget them. It, uh, the first one starts with C. Okay, write that down. The second idea starts with S. There we go. That's a very bad hint, isn't it? So many words can start with C and S. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> anyway, so what you see here is a design that is made, finally, for specifically pushing asteroids. There we go. We have done it. Instead of using that, that crappy aircraft we used before, this is made for pushing asteroids, let me tell you. But it's only for pushing C-class asteroids and definitely not E-class. D-class, I have not tested, but it probably could push them. It'd struggle, but it, it could push them. And this, of course, can push um, A-class and B-class, so all the lower classes behind C for sure. And the thing is, A-class, A-sized class, A-class class sized asteroids, <laughs> A-class asteroids are very, very small. Like, I, I was, I've been looking at some people's videos, and they're like showing off their attempt to move an asteroid, and it's a tiny little asteroid. I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, what? Are you, are you serious? Do a C-sized or an E. <laughs> Come on, challenge yourself. Show that you can do something. Show that maybe you're an expert. And these guys are YouTube YouTubers that are pretty popular. I won't say pointing at any names. It's just someone that you might know. It's kind of someone that's not well known. That's the thing. Anyway, that's just the thing. And I'm wondering, um, after the Easter Egg Hunter series is done, what what guy, what would you guys like for me to do? Because, as you may know, the Easter Egg Hunter series involves us uh, to find all the Easter eggs that are around are in the Kerbal system. And we are, well, finding some at the moment. And not too many Easter eggs left to go. So I think around... Uh, two episodes easy yet so there's gonna be like one episode for Duna another episode for around the dual system and I think it might be like two maybe three episodes left of the series which isn't very much if you think about it hmm. yeah so I was thinking you know what kind of series would you guys like after this should we just go back to just doing designs and that's it Right, just continuous designs. I don't mind that, but I do like a bit of adventure. That's why I decided to do the Easter Egg Hunter series, and you guys wanted to do that. Uh, I was thinking maybe we can have a base around an asteroid. Maybe we can pick up an E-class asteroid, a D or a C. Preferably a big asteroid would be good, and we could have like a base around it. That'd be pretty cool, and it could move the asteroid around. An E-class asteroid would be a bit difficult to move around the whole the whole system, maybe a D or C class asteroid would be preferred. And you can fit plenty of rockets to this to this thing. And this rover, in case you're wondering, the rover that we're using to move the asteroid, is roughly around 200 parts. Mm. And look at that, the asteroid is about to fall off. No! That was an issue. Whilst making this design, I thought, hmm, okay, well, is it, we're going to go up and downhill, so maybe we should add some sort of beams to make sure that these asteroids do not fall off the rover. But I did, I thought about it, but I didn't bother actually implementing beams into this thing. But uh, nevertheless, we do have this, this asteroid roller, I think that's what I called it. And so we can push the asteroid back into the center of the rover, which fixes all problems, right? But again, it's a bit dangerous, so I guess if any of you are going to use this design, for yourself, not to attempt the challenge, right? Those of you that are attempting the challenge, if I see this exact design, no, 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 no pass. <laughs> okay. Well, no one's going to have this exact design. I don't think so. Although it would be interesting if someone does, because it would be like twins. Yay, twins. No, seriously, not twins. I'm joking. I didn't been silly. And look at this. The asteroid roller is going to get rolled. <laughs> look at that. It's falling over. That's just terrible. This is one of those scenarios where you have an upside down turtle and it can't turn itself around. <laughs> upside down turtle. That's not very good. Another issue with this with Rover is I did not have enough battery packs and banks and stuff like that. And so I had to use these, these solar panels, solar arrays, 
But the issue is, the certain how the the more faster you go, the higher chance there is for these these solar arrays to just fall off and just break because of the because of the wind. Anyway, that is interesting. Next episode will probably be another asteroid and then another asteroid. And then we might do Easter Egg Hunter series, try and get that done. Or we might do a Scrubber Designs episode, because we have like hundreds of designs. Ugh, anyway, we've got to figure it out. Too many things on my mind. You know, I can make like a hundred videos right now if I want. I've got so many ideas, it's ridiculous. And I hope you guys can't hear the background noise, because we are almost finished, luckily. Someone is vacuuming within this household. Anyway, guys. So that's it, we pretty much made it. Uh, part of the challenge does... Well, some people were like, Hey, get get the asteroid on top of the building. I might do that later on. But for now, look at that. The asteroid has landed. Yay, we finally made it. Anyway, guys, I do hope you enjoyed. And see you next time. Take care.